Hey gang, Jack Allaire here. Uh, another Sunday morning coffee video. Uh, just uh, keeping up with you guys. Uh, wanted to let you know that Michigan weather uh, hates me. It was beautiful yesterday. It was sunny. We had the windows open. The dogs were just lazing outside. And today it's snowing and hailing. So, you know. Uh, my computer is busy, so I can't record in my normal spot, and which is why you're hearing all kinds of weird echo noises. There's hail falling on the roof. Uh, I did turn the heater off, so at least you're not hearing that buzz, uh, because the attempt one picked that up. But I decided to do a good old-fashioned pickup video, because I haven't done one of those in a really long time. Um, wanted to start by uh, uh, giving getting this out of the way. So Deadpool has taken over the world. He just has. Uh, and to prove it, uh, a lot of the uh, 20th Century Fox, which I guess is now Disney, and I don't know how long these will stay around, which is why I decided to start off with this, but uh, this is Logan. And if you'll notice, that is uh, Deadpool's little hand there. And they did a handful of these and it just says, uh, I'm not in this movie, but I wish I was. What is it? I wish I was in this movie, but I'm not. Yeah. And uh, my wife has, has not seen Logan, so picked it up. Um, this was just, I, I bought this, I believe, three days before it showed up on uh, Amazon Prime streaming. But this is a really good movie. This is a very confusing movie. Um, and speaking of movies, if you have not watched Unicorn Store on Netflix yet, please watch that and have a box of tissues next to us. Because even those of us who are dead inside, which isn't me, it's my friends, they're all dead inside, um, cried horribly. Um, at the thrift store, normally I pass on a bunch of games because I've already I'm I've been around for four decades I have played PS1 and PS2 games to death so some of most of them I just ignore like when I see a Final Fantasy game I am realistic I know I don't have time to play another Final Fantasy game so I just look at it and go hmm and walk by but when I see a bunch of games that I've never played before, I'm instantly like, oh, well, I'll take a look at those. So these were all, um, I think they were $1.51 each, because the thrift store does weird things like that. Um, but started out with uh, uh, The King of Fighters 99. Yeah, glare, glare, glare. There you go. So... I have not played this one yet, but I always like the King of Fighters series. I like fighting games. I don't like fighting against people. And what is going on with the color? Oh, color correct. What are you doing? Whatever. Remind me, I need to turn that off because that's freaky. Watching myself turn blue. Um, and of course, there was uh, Resident Evil 7 was there. Um, and one other one that I left there, but I don't remember. Uh, Resident Evil 2 was there, and I left that there. Uh, but I did take uh, Resident Evil 3, Nemesis, because Resident Evil 2 just played through, just watched a bunch of other people play through. Mm, didn't really want to go back and be like, yeah, I'll play it again. So I left it there for some other... Uh, hopeful person. This, for those of you who have watched me a long time, know that this is one of my favorite games of all time. Blood Omen Legacy of Kane. I fell in love with the series. It's got outstanding voice actors, uh, if a bit over much. This is the game that I really wish someone would remake. Instead of remaking another Final Fantasy or a Dragon Warrior, but unfortunately this is Crystal Dynamics and this is the but, uh, oh, I just blanked on her name. 
I should try. I should not try names. Um, Amy Hennig. Amy Hennig did this series. So for those of you who are fans of hers. Um, a game that I was like, I've never heard of this game. But it looks like a game. So uh, Railroad Tycoon 2. I've never played the original. And all these are black labels, which is... Odd to me, because normally you don't find too many black labels. And the one that that kind of stunned me, and I kept sitting there scratching my head like, I know that name. Why do I know that name? And that's uh, Kingsfield 2. Now, for those of you who don't know what Kingsfield 2 is, welcome to the rest of the world. For those of you who do, you're obviously a, a fan of From Software. Um, and these are the... If I remember right, these are the predecessors way back when. Um, leading up to the Dark Souls and Demon Souls game. Super hard. Uh, if I remember right, I played Kingsfield 1, and it was horribly obnoxious because I don't think... Yeah, there's no marking for analog controls, so that should be lots of fun to try and play. Uh, the other thing that we got is a PlayStation VR. Now, my son had a birthday, and he decided that uh, <clears throat> all my, my two sons and I were sitting at, sitting at a, a diner talking, and we were trying to decide. We wanted to get VR. We're like, okay, we're, it's time. We're ready for VR. We're like, but where do we start? Well... And my oldest son is like, okay, well, what if it's what if it's terrible? If it's terrible, then we're gonna feel bad. We've spent, you know, four to six hundred dollars, and we're gonna have to hook it up to a PC. All of our PCs are in different parts of the house because we don't have like a combined computer room. Um, and we were like, okay, well, that's, well, that's uh, if we if we want to go for it let's go there i did a little bit of research and found out that the psvr headset will work with a pc sort of and decided that we were going to go for the psvr so my youngest son and i and it was his birthday uh decided to go halves with it so he put in half i put in half we already had a, one playstation move controller so we bought another one uh, be careful when doing that, by the way, because I now have one that's micro and one that's mini USB. So all of the like super cool docks where you put the two move controllers, I can only I can only get one where it's either one or the other that will charge. So beware for those who aren't just going to buy a brand new set. Uh, but we are having an absolute blast with it. Uh, my youngest son, who is uh, 11 now played through the entirety of uh, Resident Evil 7 uh, and had an absolute blast there. We've been playing uh, Job Simulator. We've been having, uh, what is it, Rec Room? Rec Room is just bizarre. I watched my oldest son play through uh, Maze Runner, which I, I don't know. I, have, I haven't even, I've had a handful of moments to marvel at it and the dumbest thing I ever felt because you can't you can't do a video like this with VR because at no point will me looking down the most amazing thing was me looking down at a controller and pushing buttons on the controller and having the controller in VR react to the button pushes that I was making and it looked like a controller which is dumb to say but it looked like a controller there. Well, I'm going to go back inside because I am now freezing. My toes are very cold. Uh, I'm going to go inside, have uh, the rest of my coffee, and continue to uh, put Buffy the Vampire Slayer on my Plex server because the HD remasters suck. Thank you for watching, and as always, play on!